And look at this. Chase Wilson's got the title. Jordan Massinger, yeah, look at that. He sees it now. Jordan Bass ain't going to be too happy about that. But first, we got to get to this. It's Barlow and Bass. They were Vendetta opponents. And now they're going at it in this main event of episode 27. And here they go locking up. Of course, it has been a hard road for Christian Barlow. He had a sprained ankle. He was cheated out of the title. I will say I can say that confidently. He was cheated out of the title at Vendetta. A lot of controversy there. But now... A Saturday night, he will be getting a shot at killing spree. And there you see he is in action, and he is giving it to Jordan Bass working the legs currently. And Bass in a bad spot right now. Barlow, very happy about this, though. Great early strategy. But there you see, just like that, Bass is fighting back. So Bass going to get to his feet. What's he going to do? And there you see, just like that, working Barlow's legs now. So the tables have turned, and now Bass is on top of Barlow. All right, here we go, Christian Barlow. What are you going to do? You're in a bad spot, Jordan. Bass beating him down. So Bass, he, he's never really beaten Barlow, so this could be big if he could get this pinfall in this matchup. I mean, of course, you could you could count that finish at Vendetta, but frankly, I don't like to talk about that. And there you see Bass is going to tag in Scott Tyler. So interesting to see these two uh, teaming seem to be so far so good, but wait a minute, Scott Tyler. That could be dangerous, and he manages to finally get it dives off the – deck with the phenomenal forearm or is the roof if good buddy joe were here that could have ended badly though and is barlow gonna no barlow is gonna kick out that could have ended badly you saw him on the deck there and he almost fell off that could have ended very very badly for scott tyler but he's gonna try and move past that i, I think that's a great thing about scott tyler he's smart when he messes up he can quickly uh you know adjust and fix it and there you see barlow sending tyler down 12 just like that I was saying he was all right, but now he's in a bad spot. Of course, Scott Tyler, of course, representing TNS. Ah, there you see Barlow ah, locked him in. Is Scott Tyler tell. going to tap? He's in a bad spot. He's screaming in pain and agony. And he's going to fight out of it, though. There you see the veteran moves of Scott Tyler. And just like that, look at that. A nice submission of his own. And Scott Tyler has Christian Barlow in a good spot here. Is Barlow going to tap? Official watching closely, but no, Scott Tyler's going to let him out. And oh my God, once again, this poor cameraman, he just cannot hold on to that camera. If Joe were here, you'd be like, yeah, I agree, Mose. We need new cameras or, or, or something like that. But Joe's not here. It's me. And there you see Scott Tyler in another good spot. He's twisting the arm. He's poor Christian Barlow. He's like a pretzel at Anions. And just like that, it's Wrist Lock City sends Christian Barlow to the ground after... Send it in Wrist Lock City. Send him down to the ground. How about that? So is Scott Tyler going to tag? This is interesting. They seem to be having some chemistry, Jordan Bass and Scott Tyler here. And just like Kyler did before, Bass is going to dive off. And, hey, it worked out there for him. It usually doesn't. That seems to be a recurring theme in KCCW. But it worked out for Bass here. So now Bass is in control. And poor Christian Barlow. He's gone through both of them already. And he's taken a beating. He needs to make a tag quickly. <laughs> Christian Barlow, he's close. Is he going to make the tag? Of course, got to make the tag like the great Jake Arrieta when he's tagging people out at first base. But just like that, it's flare country, and they're chopping him, double-teaming him. Scott Tyler and Jordan Bass. Poor Christian Barlow receiving some chops there. And here comes Wilson. Well, this is the lifelong rivalry in KCW. Sent him down with a nice shoulder block there. And there you go. Wait a minute. How? Scott, Ty Scott Tyler. Come on now. He's in the matchup. Official needs to get control here, but he's going to send him into the rough, as Joe would say. And there you see Barlow. So now we've got a, got a bit of a weird scenario on our hands. Both wrestlers are double teaming each other. And we're back to Wilson and Basto. And there you see. And that has to hurt worse than being a fan of the 1972 Baltimore Orioles. There you see Chase Wilson. Nice suplex. Is that going to put Bass away? And it will not. Jordan Bass manages to kick out. That had to hurt his tailbone. I tell you what. That was a nice suplex from Chase Wilson. I am impressed. Let's see, Chase Wilson, what are you doing now? So uh, this is an interesting to see Chase Wilson in control here. This is really the first time he's gotten his hands on Bass since uh, season finale. And uh, Chase Wilson. Oh, look at that. A diving grounded spear. That was nice. I've never seen that before. So Chase Wilson has to be enjoying this. Remember, poor Chase Wilson got hit by Jordan Bass's car in the craziest moment in KCCW history. And now Jordan is the one screaming in pain, but he's going to try and fight. And there you see nice moves, though, from Jordan Bass. i got to get him credit. And just like that, he pushes 
Chase Wilson off. Chase looked like he was going for the instant incapacitation, but it did not work out there. Now it's Bass in control. What's he going to do? Of course, he's got all sorts of crazy things up his sleeve. Is this a silver bullet? And yes, to the back of the head of Chase Wilson, the silver bullet knocks him out. Is that going to knock him out of this match, though? Is that going to put his team away? Let's see. And no, a kick out. Chase Wilson staying alive after that brutal silver bullet to the back of the head. He looked like he got all of that one, and it was brutal. And there you see Scott Tyler tagging in. And Tyler immediately after gets tagging in, hits a nice drop kick on Chase Wilson. So Chase Wilson down on the ground. And Bass is going to take a breather after getting beat by Chase Wilson. But now it is Chase Wilson, the one getting beat up by Scott Tyler. And they're seeing him bending him, twisting him again, like I said earlier, Chase like an Pontian's pretzel for Chase Wilson. That's got to hurt. I think the big question coming to Saturday night, who is going to win it? And frankly, I don't know. There you see, though, Scott Tyler. Wait a minute, Chase Wilson fighting back, and there you see, just like that, a gut buster. So Scott Tyler is down, looks like he was going for something to finish Chase Wilson off. It did not work out. Now Chase Wilson back in control. As I was saying, though, I really don't know who's going to win this match Saturday night. Again, it is every man for himself. It is a fatal four-way. Or, well, there might be some alliances. It will always, of course, be curious to see what happens, what forms in that matchup. But again, every man for himself. And, and four great Talented wrestlers here on the KCW roster, and there we see the talent of Ch uh, Scott Tyler as he lifts up Chase Wilson, the wrath of God. And fans, we're going to see is it a pinfall? And no, so Chase Wilson going to kick out, but fans, we have to take a quick commercial break. The action rolls on. And we are back. Chase Wilson in trouble. He was in trouble before the commercial. Now, after the commercial, but wait a minute. Here comes Christian Barlow to save the day. Brutal kick to Scott Tyler. Scott Tyler screaming in pain. So now it looks like Christian Barlow officially in the match. That didn't look quite like a legal tag to me, but I, hey, the ref accepted it. What do I know? I'm just a commentator. Well, no, just like that, Wilson's back in the match. Yeah, I was right. It was not a legal tag. And there you see, oh, my God, Scott Tyler just got brutalized. And Jordan Bass, uh, being the apparently good partner that he is, is going to break up that pin. Poor Scott Tyler. That looked rough. Rough on the roof. So Scott Tyler looks like he's going for that tag. Is he going to make it? And is Wilson going to make it? They're going to do a double tag. Yes, and here comes Bass and Barlow in this matchup. Let's see what Bass got off his sleeve. But no, yes, he sends Barlow down to the ground. I tell you what, we got some great merchandise. It's on the Jordan Joma Red Bubble page. And we got T-shirts and everything. And there you see Barlow. He's dominated just like all those shirts. He's dominating in the Red Bubble merchandise shirt category. And there you see Kristen Barlow going to twist him around. Oh, my gosh, Jordan Bass. He is not going to like this at all. Look at this. And hold off on the chowder because the Boston Crab has been released by Kristen Barlow. Jordan Bass going to get some relief after that one. I, for one, think the Boston Crab is a great submission move, very effective. I love me some Boston Crab. And just like that, Barlow's got Bass up to his feet. Barlow's got a shot here. What's he going to do? And oh my God, that looked like a low blow to Christian Barlow. My goodness. And of course, uh, remember fans, uh, what, what is not a low blow. Actually, it is because our low, low prices on the Redbubble Jordan Jumbo store. We got T-Rob merch. We got Christian Barlow merch and hey, Brandon Steele merch and much more. And there you see Christian Barlow in a bad spot. Again, you won't be in a bad spot if you buy one of his lovely T-shirts, though. And here we go, submission from Bass, that Bass hook, very nice move here, this is a cross face, I like this move too, along with the Boston Crab, and he sends his head, hey, into the grass, not a bad strategy there by Jordan Bass, is Bass going to make the tag, looks like he is, he's getting out of camera work, I did not see the tag personally, so I'm not sure if that's legal, due to uh, ineffective camera skills, but it looks like Scott Tyler's coming out, uh, again, Bass joining him, so they are going to double team Christian Barlow, look at this, going to put him over his knee, like a misbehaving child, look at this, and he slams him down on a Jordan Bass's knee. Poor Christian Barlow. Scott Tyler, he's pointing, of course, pointing to that KCCW Heavyweight Championship currently hanging on the roof of the KCCW Arena. But first, Scott Tyler, oh, he's working on the arms of Christian Barlow. And fans, of course, it is unfortunate that good buddy Joe cannot join us today, but I assure you, 
He is doing something very productive. He has joined Kofi Johnson, who has received a tryout matchup for the Monterey Steel of the National Arena League. We hope and Kofi Johnson will be the new Jack linebacker for the Monterey Steel. Only time will tell. Good luck to you, Kofi. Christian Barlow, oh man, he looks like he's in trouble. And just like that, he's going to flip out of that. Almost into a pinfall attempt. Let's see, is that going to know? Scott Tyler not going to be put away just yet. Again, fans, I was at the Applebee's in Independence, Missouri with the gang this week. Uh, official Alex, Whoa. Captain Olathe, and they, they were very confident that Scott Tyler is going to win this match of a killing spree. Uh, again, uh, I really don't know. I can't make a prediction. I think it's going to be a great match, and really any one of these men could be the champion. Look at that. He shoves Wilson out the way. Bash got the tag. He shoved Wilson out the way. Not a bad move as Barlow was going for the tag there. Not a bad move by Jordan Bass. A little cheap. But I can't blame him, and just like that, it's going to be Bass and Barlow going at it again. Knee to the head. So again, remember, folks, last episode of KCW Television, Jordan Bass lost to Scott Tyler. So again, that's why I was thinking they weren't really going to click. Oh, a brutal strap to the gut of Jordan Bass. That's why I was thinking they weren't going to click in this episode, but just like that, Chase Wilson is in and takes him down. But so far, they've gone well, but it's not going well right now as Bass is getting thrown around like a ragdoll from, like, from yeah. Chase Wilson. Oh, my. So it's Bass and Wilson, but just like that, Barlow's in the mix again. Uh-oh, Barlow. This is not a bad spot. Official might have Oh, wait a minute. The official has been knocked out. My goodness. And there you see Scott Tyler going to work now on Barlow. The official is down. Is he all right? Yes, he is back to his feet. That could have been very bad. We could have had a, a close pinfall attempt, and the official was down, but he is up once again. So Bass is down. All sorts of hell is breaking loose in this main event tag team contest. And looks like the official going to get control. Going to send everybody back who is not legal in the match right now, though. It is Bass and Barlow. So here they go. And look at that knockout punch. That didn't look like much, but it sure did. Uh, Jordan Bass it sent him to the ground. Watch out, Jordan. Bass is in a bad spot, and Barlow looks like he's going to charge it. Oh, my God. Look at that big boot bar set or bicycle kick. And just like that, how about that? That was a beautiful finishing maneuver from Christian Barlow. And just like that, that's going to give Chase Wilson and Christian Barlow some great momentum heading into killing spree. That was a beautiful, I believe, again. He calls it the bar setter. And uh, I see why, because that it worked, and it ended this contest. It's great. Main event tag team contest.